I'll make it one more run to the parts store and I think I'm gonna have everything I need to get this engine running. Welcome back to the garage guys. Thanks for tuning in. We've got everything we needed from the parts store, but I had one more delivery I was waiting on today from Amazon and it showed up. Surprisingly though, I ordered a pair of thrush mufflers, those little cheap turbo mufflers that kind of tone things down. And I got a second box that said it was a cherry bomb turbo. And you know, how, how different could it be? Well, it turns out it's a lot different. Check this out. So here's my thrush turbo muffler. Pretty simple, right? It is the wrong size. I ordered a smaller size, so we had to do some Appalachian engineering here. Here's my cherry bomb. Funny, it looks a lot like a Flowmaster. And not just a Flowmaster, but a used Flowmaster. So uh, we're gonna be returning these, but they're gonna work for what we're doing today. So I've got SPT Kevin with me today, and we're gonna fire this engine here in just a few minutes. First, I'm gonna show you a couple things I've done. Uh, you guys, I got a neighbor cutting tile. It's really obnoxious. In a minute, it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna drown him out with this. Uh, so you know how you start a boat up and out of the water, you plug the water hose into it, right? I figured instead of buying a radiator for my test stand, how about we just plumb the water hose into the engine and then I have the old vacuum cleaner hose here taking it back out to the driveway. It, it might work. So uh, I'm gonna give Kevin the camera and I'm gonna go ahead and start fiddling around with this thing and try to get it to fire. First thing I gotta do though is set the timing. So if you see me scrambling and tripping over things, that's me trying to get to my timing light. It's so corroded, I can't even get it in there. It's a good sound. Sounded good. Yeah, yeah. Put a little, put a little juice to it. I really could have done better on the starter switch. Like, that's terrible. Um, timing, 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 timing. Which way is the Chevy spin? Yeah. I'm gonna get my Chevrolet cheat sheet out here. So it spins this way. So if I wanna advance the timing, I would spin the distributor this way a little bit and I should pick up the idle and uh, put a little more oomph in it. carburetor. <laughs> Alright, well there's things happening. Doesn't sound horrible. No, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> Might have switched to the thrust. You want to slide over there and keep it running or try to keep it running? Yeah. So I grab this timing light here in a second. We'll at least get that out of the way. You don't What happened, Kevin? I was trying to let it go somewhat idle. Oh no, 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 we need it up a little bit. Oh, is it all right like that? Yeah, yeah, just for what I'm doing. As long as you don't get up like three Gs. All right. Are we going to switch spots? We've done this before. <laughs> It helps when you plug in the, the doodad. Whew. Close. It's gonna be burning the eyes in a minute. Yeah. All right, let's try that again. You ready? Yep. I can't find it. Where's the hole? It's on this side, yeah. Damn it. Right here. 
All this preparating. <laughs> Why are you in the right place? How are you even gonna see that? You I don't know. You gotta go from like this side down here. I can see it from up here. Can you? Yeah. But I can't adjust. Well, yeah. Crank, let's crank it again. I didn't like that at all. Oh, good. Kevin? I was feathering it. I want <laughs> it's a really, really bad carburetor. Do it again? Well, <laughs> that's me. The top of the header's on top. Yeah. <laughs> Good sign, huh? Say another fire.
That hurts. Did you hit record? <laughs> I like that thrust muffler. You like it better than the Flowmaster? I think I do. It's deeper. It's more. More muscle car sounding. Big blocky sounding, you know. How about those headers, though? Did you take a shot of those? Yeah, stainless. Definitely weird with the exhaust on top of the engine. Really hot. So there's definitely some good and some bad to this test run. First thing I want to point out is our custom oil pan is nice and dry. No leaks. So at least we got that right because when we build the other engine, we're just going to swap this over to it. Uh, we do have some issues with some head studs leaking water. Uh, and this thing didn't even have pressure in the cooling system, so I probably screwed something up there. Uh, the belt drive did seem to work. I mean, obviously the alternator's not hooked up, but no grinding noises here so that's a good sign carburetor is junk as always um, the exhaust seemed to do okay it turned some colors which is kind of cool but uh yeah i guess it was a successful run sitting about 40 psi of oil pressure right when it was just barely idling so that's not too bad um what do you think kevin <sighs> was, it a, was it a victorious test fire it was victorious carburetor sucks we can't really know what it's really doing but carburetor does suck Ran good, didn't blow up. Probably should have tightened down the rest of the bolts on the carburetor. It wouldn't help it. No, okay. So yeah, I guess that, that's the test fire. So uh, we gotta take this back down, probably throw some head gaskets at it and reseal those head studs and um, put it to the side and start working on a TH425, a turbo 425 Toronado transaxle. You ready for that? Front wheel drive, love it. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, guys, I'm in this video off right there. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.